We mentioned a little earlier in this newscast, the Reds opening day parade will not be held on opening day this year. That will be on Thursday, March 29th. The parade will be held the following Monday, April 2nd. It's a head scratcher for some fans we spoke with. That's wrong. <laughs> opening day parade is like, you know, it's a, it's it's an institution. It's it's a national holiday in Cincinnati. Why would you move it? Why do you call it opening day? Call it day four parade. How about that? Joining us now is the man kind of in the middle of all this, Parade Chairman Neil Lucan. We want to thank you for joining us. And it seems like Major League Baseball kind of threw you a curveball with this one, and that's what kind of uh, was the precedent for this decision. Can you explain? Well, the players and the owners came, the union came up with a new bargaining chip where the players needed an extra five days off per year. The Major League Baseball way of of, of, of making this happen for the players would start the season five days earlier, which in the big scheme of things isn't a big, big deal, but that happens to fall on Easter week for us down the Finley market, which means we'd have to be closed Thursday. And people think we can be open on Thursday, but for the logistics to put the parade on, you have to shut down blocks, city streets for blocks for half miles around the market. So nobody can actually get to the market because everything's shut down for the parade. And then we have to be closed on Sunday because it's Easter Sunday and for, for people's uh, holiday, you know, traditions and stuff, that means we lose 33% of our business that week, which kind of makes a good week into a terrible week. So our best decision was to try to accommodate the shoppers of Finley Market and put on the best parade we can. And our best solution for that was having the parade on Monday as we traditionally do. One of the people who we interviewed then said, well, why not just call it day four parade instead of opening day parade? And that's our biggest dilemma, calling yeah. it the opening day parade because it's not on opening day. But there has been precedent set back before. This is like the fourth time opening day parade has not happened on opening day. But has it impacted the crowd turnout in years past when that happened? Actually, one year we had a, the players were on strike and we actually had a parade all scheduled to go. The players came back to work the day before opening day. We already had the parade lined up. Everybody was set to go. We went and had a parade without a game. It was one of our most successful parades ever. Actually, it was on the front page of the Wall Street Journal back when newspapers were something very special. It was on the front page of the Wall Street Journal how Cincinnati had a parade without a game. It, we, the problem is, is trying to accommodate everybody and make everybody happy. It's just a tough thing to do. And by Major League Baseball throwing us this curveball, as you like to say, it's almost made it impossible. We're all a bunch of volunteers. Nobody gets paid for this. This is a way to get the name Finley Market out into the public. Mm -hmm. This is our biggest, biggest camp. I don't want to say advertising campaign because we're not advertising, but we just want to get the name Finley Market out there and get it out to the public so everybody remembers who we are. Okay, I just have one question and it's because somebody asked me. Could you not make up the business that you lost on Thursday and Friday? It, it, it would be physically impossible because okay. there's not enough parking down there to accommodate everybody to get in there. The logistical problem with the market for me being a business owner, we can't get any delivery trucks in there on Thursday. Mm -hmm. We're not selling tires and clothing. We're selling fresh, 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 the freshest, the freshest products in all of Cincinnati. We get them in on a daily basis. We turn them over that quick. It's just, it's just, there's not a great solution to the problem. Tough next, spot. Next year, 2019, or say a year and a half, 2019, the parade will be on Thursday. It'll be our 100th parade. It'll be the 150th anniversary of the Reds. It just would have fallen on this Easter weekend this year. It just makes it the logistics of it is just so hard to put everything together. All right, this Neil Luke, and we thank you for joining us. Really you're welcome. Do. And uh, we'll look forward to the parade. <laughs> Just say the that. opening week parade. Yeah. Okay, opening week parade. There, there you we go. go. Thanks so much.